Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review of Sping on the Apple Arcade for Apple TV. Now the game is loading up here. Okay, we have an intro how to Sping, and now we're just getting a little bit of a breakdown, so we're just kind of like star-shaped figure. We're supposed to collect the jewels by spinning around anchors. So if we press and hold A, that'll allow us to swing. And we're just trying to get to the portal after collecting our jewels here. And I don't know how to characterize this game. I think this is uh, maybe a casual puzzle, casual action. I'm not sure how to classify it, but uh, press and hold A, we can swing, and we need to time our release here. Once you press A, you get that little string that connects you to the anchor. Not a difficult concept. So yeah, this game is definitely about timing. Once you get the timing down, it's not bad. And what's good is you don't need to have perfect timing because it's almost like it almost feels like there's a magnet kind of pulling you in different directions maybe towards the anchor or portal so you have a little bit of leeway there where you don't need perfect timing because you're kind of just kind of floating almost like a, like a non-gravity type feel and I think I'm pretty Late on this game, I think this game has been out for a little bit of time, if I'm not mistaken. But a pretty simple concept here. Kind of just on for the ride. So yeah, not 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 a complex game. Oh, and I just kind of caught that anchor. I noticed that those are spikes there, the red spikes on that little platform. It looks like that probably kill me if I hit that. So but yeah, when you get close to these jewels, you know they kind of magnetize to you, so you don't have to be exactly on them, which is good. So I keep getting perfect here, so let's see how long I can keep this streak going. So I see the stages are getting a little bit harder. So yeah, this is one of those games where, yeah, obviously it's going to become more difficult. And I don't really see, as of now, any sort of time associated with these stages, but I'm sure as far as collecting all the, the jewels, that gets more difficult. And I'm sure there's gonna be a, a point where, you know, I'd rather complete the stage, get to the portal, instead of trying to collect all the jewels. So, as you see, kind of more spikes here and incorporate onto the stage. So, not bad, not bad. We're at level eight, let's see. And if this is pretty much the game, again, this is, this is a very simple concept. You're just kind of going through all the levels trying to collect the, uh, collect the jewels. So I wouldn't say it's a very deep game, but uh, I would say probably not much replay value in something like this. I think after you've, you know, Got the jewels for whatever stage, then you're, you're more than likely you're not going to come back to it. But I don't know if there was different sort of levels, if there's, you know, medi easy, medium, hard, whatever. Kind of incorporate into this. But I'm sure that obviously the levels get harder and harder as we advance.
seeing how I can keep my streak going here. So yeah, this game has a very simple concept. I would say, oh, okay, so I missed my jewels there. Because again, the portal almost acts as a magnet, but I don't think I'm going to go back for them. I'll keep it going. So I missed two there. Let's see how I do on this stage. Because obviously you can repeat stages, but... Is it really worth it? Let me see if I can get in between these two spikes here. Oh! Alright, it got me. What stage is this? I'm not sure what stage this is, but yeah, they finally kind of... They caught up with me. Oh, jeez, okay, I got... Hit the spikes again. So yeah. This is around stage 12, I want to say. Obviously, you know, I was expecting the game to get harder, and it, and it is. I don't think I'm gonna go for... Those uh, jewels, it looks like a little bit of a trap there. I think I'm just gonna try to finish this stage. Okay, so that was actually stage 11 that I was on. And I think I'm going to just look at the menu a little bit here. I think I get the point. So I'm in chapter one. I have a few more stages to go. I may go back and see how many more I can do. Um, yeah, let's continue to go here for a little bit. Maybe I can get through chapter one at least. Now that we have these little sp these little spring jumps. Oh, okay, see, that was an early or late or release there. I released it too low, so I ended up hitting the spikes. All right, so that was perfect. The springs there kind of remind me of like Sonic, or those, whatever they're called, those bumpers. Sonic used to bounce off of. Alright, that was a nice little combination. Good sequence. Alright, level 13. Let's see if I can get through just the rest of this chapter. little alley-oop there. This game's fun. Um, it's, not, it's not a very deep game. Oh, nice little... Alright, I had a nice little combination there. But not a, not a very deep game. Um, I'm sure, you know, it can get repetitive to a certain extent here. Obviously, it's going to get harder as I continue to advance. But um, the gameplay isn't, I guess, that engaging where... I can see myself um, playing for a long, you know, periods of time. Maybe if I have a quick little, you know, 10, 10 minutes here or there to spare, I might kind of uh, pop this in. Um, again, this is on the Apple TV, so I'll probably, you know, maybe on a iPad, my iPhone if I'm traveling. I play this for a little bit, but uh, I don't think for long periods of time. But. Um, I've unlocked, it looks like another spin kind of icon here, and I think this is the, de the designer that created it. So that's pretty cool, they gave a little Instagram handle there. So, Geometrica, I think this is like a new little icon that I can play with now. But this is Spin uh, in the Apple Arcade. Check it out. I don't know how to classify this. If this is a puzzle or kind of casual, um, let me know in the comments how you'd classify this game. And, uh, you know, that, that does it for my review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, 
Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you can't win if you don't play. Thank you.